As we expel, as we expel the level, 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 level. Yeah, I've um, made a bit of progress. I've been working on the armor parts for the legs, as you can see. And the primer came out a little bit uh, thick here. I don't know if you can see this. That's not focusing too well. Okay, came out a little bit thick on these parts, so I might have to sand them down a little bit. Just to tone it down. But that's ready for a base coat of white. I've also finished some more parts here. Excuse me a sec. Uh, just some uh, more inner frame parts done in the same metallic blue there this is all for the body the internal parts for the body right, that's about it okay uh, now I'm gonna base coat this lot in white Wait, so at this point I've done I think about two layers of white on top of the primer and it's looking a little bit mottled, I think that's the word for it. Uh, so, I think what I'll do is, I'm going to start a pre-shade on all of these parts, then go over it again with uh, another layer of white. Because in some cases, it looks pretty bad. I'm still working on it. Fingers crossed. Back soon. Um, in a minute, I have done some pre shading on all these white armor parts. The next thing I'm going to do is coat this in uh, another layer of white, and then hopefully these armor parts should be done. So let's mix up some white and get going. Okay, so I think I'm about done on these white armor pieces. Uh, it's not turned out exactly how I wanted, but it's not too bad. I don't know how well you can see that. It's my first time pre-shading, as I normally do highlighting. So yeah, it turned out okay. Uh, let's see uh, what to do next. Get on again. Okay, so I painted the red parts and I added in just a little bit of subtle shading. I don't know how well you can see this. But it's just some, uh, some fabulous pink I had left over from the Rick Dom. And I thought, okay, I might as well use it as a, as a highlighter for the red parts. And that's it. So next, everything here needs to be primed. So I shall spare you from a very long and tedious video of me spraying things grey. And uh, I'll come back to you soon. Okay. Okay, uh, priming completed. After a very long time. <laughs> I managed to get a nice mix this time of uh, primer and thinner. So it went on very smooth. Which is a plus. Also primed this in enamel. Sorry about the uh, siren, if you can hear that. Because um, these are going to be made into metallic parts. Okay, I think that's it for today. Um, I shall continue again tomorrow. Alright, so I've done a black base coat here. Yeah. Nothing too spectacular. A few 
few bits there. These one, two, three, four bits. Uh, all done in black enamel, so I can do some L clad on those in a minute. And um, <coughs> it appears to be snowing, which means it is freezing in here. Looking better. So while I wait for that to dry, I have two pieces here. That's it. Uh, where I need to do a little bit of masking, just there, because. These parts should be yellow, and I had to glue these in originally. So I shall mask these off now, and then get painted. Okay, all done, all masked off, it's ready to go. Let's paint these yellow. Okay, the metallic blue parts are now done. Over here, I've also done these gunmetal parts. Both have turned out very well. Very pleased. Also, done a bit of owl clad on these to make them more metallic. My only issue is at the minute is that it may look a bit inconsistent because the metallic blue went on a lot lighter before on the uh, leg parts. So we shall see. Okay, so I did a little bit of assembly work um, just to see how it's going to look together. You can see that's the leg. It's uh, interesting, very interesting. The gold actually turned out quite nice against the metallic blue. Um, yeah, you can see the feet here. Again, nice shiny bottom. So, yeah, I think that's about it for today. I would continue making the um, or assembling the leg, but I'm waiting for some parts to dry. I also had these piston parts in here that I need to coat before I um, put them on the kit to make sure that the paint doesn't scrape off. So um, that's it for me for now. Until next time, thanks for watching. Part 3 coming next. Bye bye.